Hello, welcome to Speed Commander. This series features snappy edits and drives straight into the action. In this episode, we have Tolerian Academy East Branch, with all four players playing combat focus decks. Do take a moment to subscribe to the Tap and Sack channel for more Magic the Gathering content. Let's go! Starting off, the game is John, who is playing a partner of Siani and Eligev. The deck relies on lots of flying creatures and turns scrying into drawing. His opening hand is Preordain, Nexus of Fate, Mana Geo, Two Islands, Lonely Sandbar, and Remote Isle. Next up is Sean playing a Gyruda, Doom of Deaths. He has a good opening hand with three lands and a mana rock. His deck relies on casting Gyruda as well as Graveyard Recursion to bring out big creatures. His opening hand has Sky Diamond, In Garrick's Wake, Phyrexian Metamorph, Swarm, Mausoleum Secrets, and Two Islands. Going third is guest player Rick, who's playing a partnership of Faultis and the Planeswalker Jessica. As you will see later, Jessica will make use of Faultis' abilities to deal damage with Death Touch. His opening hand has only two lands, but he also has Cloud Stone Curio, Dark Confidant, Fox Diamond, Goblin Welder, Revel to Riches, Shizo, Death Storehouse, and Mountain. And going last is myself, playing a borrowed Winota deck. Winota relies on non-human creatures to trigger Winota's abilities, and then we will get lots of free creatures attacking and overwhelming the opponents. My opening hand has a Gold Knight Commander, The Plains, Angel of Glory's Rise, Dranif Magistrate, and Three Mountains. So John draws for the first turn, puts an island, and casts Preordain. Puts both on top and draws the card. Sean draws for his turn. Place an island and passes. Rick puts a mountain and immediately casts a goblin welder. I draw for my turn. Put a mountain and immediately put down a soul ring. And I pass. John draws. Puts another island. Casts a dark steel pendant. Sean goes for his turn. Puts down his first swarm. Pays 2 to cast Sky Diamond that comes in tapped. Rick taps for 2 and casts a Dark Confidant. He attacks me for 1 when I have no blockers, so I take 1 damage. It's my turn, I put down a Plains. I tap 2 to cast Draneth Magistrate. John draws. He puts down an island. Taps for 3 and casts Kefnet. Sean draws. Puts he taps all his mana to cast Phyrex and Metamorph, targeting the Dark Confidant. The Metamorph becomes a copy of Confidant. Rick reveals his first card in the upkeep and takes 5 damage when he reveals Perforous. He attacks with both of his creatures to John, and he has no choice but to take 3 damage. I untap, draw, put down the mountain. I tap for 4 mana to cast. A Gold Knight Commander. John goes for his turn, casts an Overflowing Chalice for Kicker of 1. Sean upkeep, he triggers the Phyrex and Metamorph. He uses a Swarm, takes no damage, and draws for his turn. He has nothing to do and passes the turn to Rick, who reveals He draws for his turn 
Taps for two to cast a Charcoal Diamond. At the end of Rick's turn, John chooses a Scry 1 from the Dark Steel Pendant. John cycles the Lonely Sandbar to draw one. It's his, he untaps for his turn, draws. He taps 3 to cast a Mana Jewel. He also casts a Crashing Drawbridge, a wall that gives his creatures haste. Sean reveals a Swarm for his upkeep, takes no damage and draws. He puts his land down. Sean plays Read the Bones, which allows him to scry two and draw two cards, and he loses two life. He passes the turn and discards two hand size. Rick untaps, reveals the card for Dark Confidant, it takes no damage. He taps one to cast Gamble, searches his library for a card. He finds a card and has to discard one at random. So he rolls the dice and discards Erebos. So I tap and draw. I put down a mountain. I tap for two red to cast Tome of Legends. And I get one page counter. And I pass the turn. John untaps, draws, he cycles the land, draw a card. He passes the turn to Sean. His upkeep triggers, start confidant, loses four life. He taps for four to cast the shepherd. And then pays three to cast a shot. John decides to scry one in response and puts it on top. Sean decides to minus one on Ash. He mills himself for four and everyone else exiles their graveyard. Passes his turn and Rick reveals a card for Dark Confidant. It's a land and loses no life. Rick discards his card and at his end step I put a, another page counter on the tome. It's my turn, I untap and draw. I put down a Boros Garrison and I have to return a land to my hand. John untaps, draws. He taps for two to cast a Sky Diamond, which comes in tap and passes his turn. Sean untaps, triggers Dark Confidant. He reviews a Grimoire of the Dead and, take and loses four life. He draws for his turn. Puts his swarm down. Sean pays two mana and casts Mausoleum of Secrets. He searches his library for a black card with CMC two or less. He finds a reanimate. Puts it into his hand. He triggers a shock. Rick in response taps one black mana. He uses Goblin Welder to bring in the Contagion Engine. He triggers the Contagion Engine to put a minus one, minus one counter on Dread of Magistrate and the Commander. Sean goes to mill his cards. He taps one black and plays Reanimate. He targets Scarab God in his graveyard. John taps in response for two mana to cast Counterspell. He taps for 4 to cast Grimoire of the Dead. He activates the Grimoire to put a counter on it. At Sean's end step, Rick activates the Contagion Engine to proliferate more minus 1 minus 1 counters on my creatures. Gold Knight Commander dies. Triggers upkeep Dark Confidant, gets a Firex in Arena, draws for his turn, he loses 3 life. He 
put down a Temple of Melis and Scribes one. He puts it at the bottom. He taps for one mana to cast Soul Ring. It's my turn. I untap and draw. I tap for six to cast Darien, King of Kaldor. I pass my turn. At my end step, John decides to scry one. He puts it on the top. John goes to his turn and untaps his lands. Draws. He taps for 2 mana to cast Elcio, Wardwing Familiar. Sean untaps for his turn. Triggers Dark Confidant, reveals a land. He draws for his turn. Sean taps for 9 and casts in Garrett's Wake. In response, Rick taps for 4 mana to cast Rhetoric, which copies. Sean's spell. There are no more responses. So essentially, all creatures get destroyed. Sean's Nightmare Shepherd triggers the Phyrexian Metamorph when it dies. Sean passes his turn. Rick untaps. Draws for his turn. There is no more Dark Confidant to trigger the upkeep. Rick taps for 1 to cast Sensei's Divining Top. Taps for 5. To cast Revel in Riches. I untap for my turn. I draw a card. I tap for 7 to cast Angel of Glory's Rise. John in response draws a card from his Kefnet. Without any counter spells, he lets it resolve. All my human creatures come back to the battlefield from the graveyard. John untaps for his turn. He casts a Glyph Keeper. And passes the turn, Sean goes, triggers uh, Dark Confidant and takes 6 damage. He draws for his turn and casts Hero's Downfall, targeting the Dranif Magistrate. The Magistrate dies. He then casts Jace's Mind Seeker and he chose Rick to review the top 5 cards of his library. Sean activates the Grimoire again, discarding an island. He passes to Rick and goes ahead to cast his first commander, Faultis, Shadow Cat Familiar. He also casts Jessica, Trice Reborn. He then goes ahead to trigger minus one ability on Jessica, targeting three separate creatures with one damage. Because of fault is that one damage has death touch and all our creatures die. He then casts Firex in Arena and it passes the turn. I untap and draw. I tap for 3 and cast Tajik, Legion's Edge. I then swing Tajik and Golnet Commander at Rick's Jessica, who takes it. I pass the turn. At my end step, John decides to scry one. He puts it at the top and untaps for his turn. He draws and casts Favorable Winds, which gives his flying creatures plus one, plus one. He sends the Glyph Keeper at me. I have no blockers, take six, and I create six 1-1 one, one Soldier Tokens. At Sean's turn, he draws. He casts his commander, Gyruda, Doom of Deaths. There are no responses, and we mill the top 4 cards of our library. We don't get any good hits, except for John with the Augury Owl. Sean proceeds to cast it for free. When he enters the battlefield, he scries tree. He activates the Grimoire again, and in response, John decides to scry. While Rick decides to activate Sensei's Divining Top. It's Rick's turn and he untaps. Firex in Arena triggers, he draws one and draws an additional one. He then proceeds to cast Jessica again. He activates minus one, targeting Tajik, Garuda, and the Dark Confidant. 
our creatures die and he casts Wish Claw Talisman, triggering it to search his library for any card. He then passes the tap Wish Claw Talisman to John and casts Karn the Great Creator, which prevents the abilities of artifacts to be triggered. When Karn enters the battlefield, he returns Jessica to his hand due to the Cloudstone Courier trigger. He passes his turn and I untap. I draw. I pay 4 mana to cast Winoda, join our forces, and proceed to send 6 tokens attacking at Rick. Winoda triggers 6 times. I put in a Frontier Warmonger, also attacking at Rick. And then Alina, Selfless Champion, going in towards Sean. And send Aldrich, Master Tactician, at Sean. And lastly, Dahlia's Lieutenant, that also goes towards Sean. A whole bunch of triggers happen. Uh, Lena creates 5 1 1 soldier tokens. All creatures that entered the battlefield this turn also give each creature plus 1 plus 1 due to Gold Knight Commander, which means every creature gets plus 10 plus 10. Dallas uh, Lieutenant also puts a plus 1 plus 1 counter on each other human. With 7 creatures attacking Rick and 3 big creatures attacking Sean, each having menace, uh, both players were knocked out of the game at the same time. It's down to me and John. John untaps for his turn, he draws, puts down a soul ring, an island, and proceeds to attack me with the Glyph Keeper. I have no flying creatures, so I take 6 damage and also put 6 more 1-1 one, one tokens. He casts a Nexus of Fate to buy himself some more time and also scries 1, puts it at the bottom. He goes for his extra turn, draws, and attacks me again with the Glyph Keeper, giving me 6 more tokens. I finally get to go for my turn and tap and draw. I decide to send 18 tokens at John, triggering Winota 18 times. It was a very tiring process going through 18 triggers of Winota. I won't go into all the humans that were put into play. There was probably a good 10 creatures there. But we all knew what was coming as John already had a Cyclonic Rift in hand. So in response, he would tap 7 mana to cast Cyclonic Rift on Overload. Returning all my non-land permanents to my hand. We proceed to cast, recast Tilonali, Summoner, Adriana, Captain of the Guard, as well as Fireflux Squad. That was all my mana, so I pass the turn. John untaps, draws. He's trying to find an answer and cast Reconnaissance Mission. He proceeds to attack me again with the Glyph Keeper triggering the Reconnaissance Mission and drawing a card. He puts down an island and also casts his first commander, Siani, Eye of the Storm. He passes his turn, I proceed to untap and draw. I'm deciding what creatures to cast and decide to recast Frontier Warmonger to give creatures menace, as well as the Gold Knight Commander to trigger more plus one plus one buffs. I decided why not and just swing in with three creatures, triggering Tilo Nali's ability. I put four 1-1 one, one tokens, which triggers Gold Knight Commander. I also trigger Fireflux Squad's ability and exile Tilo Nali to bring in a Mire. Adriana and Fireflux Squad also get plus one plus one counters from melee. So because 5 creatures entered the battlefield, each creature gets plus 5 plus 5 due to Gold Knight Commander. 
There's a total of 41 damage and each creature has menace. John tries to find an answer with his scrying. He looks at the top, finds nothing and has to call it a day. Good game.